guys. OMG. I am so proud of myself right now. One, I just went to the movies by myself. It was incredible. I just saw the Batman. Absolutely sick. It was so good. If you guys see it, please let me know. I'd love to talk in the DMs about it because it was so, so good. Um, it's three hours long and I swear I didn't feel three hours long. Like, it doesn't even remotely feel like I was just sat in a movie theater for over three hours. That's how you know they made a good ass beeping movie. Like, what the heck? It's literally dark outside. <laughs> it's... <laughs> Um, wow, it was really good. Also, can we, I'm just so proud of myself that I like went. Oh, you're gonna fall, I can't put you down anymore. Down here. Just for a second. Um, I'm so proud of myself that I, like, I did go through with it. I, I bought the tickets the other day because we had like a half day for work. Like today in America, it's like National Staff Appreciation Day or something like that. So for work, we were uh, given like a um, a partial day, so we actually had a really like fun day. Um, they like got like us a fancy breakfast. The moon is looking crazy. It's like a sliver. Is there something fancy with the moon tonight? It looks like something's in front of the moon. Weird. Oh, there's people walking. It's awkward. Um, oh, it was just so good, guys. What the heck? I don't think I was thinking it was gonna be that good. I mean, I did. I knew it was gonna be that good. The previews looked absolutely insane. You know when you're like that hooked by a preview that it's gonna be good. Hold on. It was so good. Wow, people are just flying out of the... What's that song from Wicked? Without flying off the handle. I hope you're happy. Boom. I hope you're happy now. I hope you're happy how you hurt your cause forever. I hope you think you're clever. I hope you're happy. Do I have my lights on? I do. I hope you're happy in the end. I hope you're happy, my friend. I'm vlogging, obviously, a little bit this weekend. I hope hanging out with me is fun. Me and, uh, me and Ralph here, we're a party and a half, aren't we, Ralph? Spud. I am going to go look at an apartment tomorrow as well, so take you with me there. Hopefully, it's a little bit decent. It's decent enough that when I sent it to Charlie, he was like, oh, no, go see it. It's literally just like the town next to where I live, but I'd love to stay in town if possible, but my town is becoming very, very, very expensive. I know like some of the locals who I talk to at the pub, they're always like, this isn't the town I grew up in. I am gonna try to go to the gym first thing in the morning tomorrow as well. So if I do, in fact, do that, I will bring you guys with me and show you the workout. Not going out tonight, I'm having a beer and I'm watching some TV. It's actually, well, that's right now, it's just a repeat YouTube video. If you guys are watching any good TV, let me know because I don't know. I'm just not really sure what I'm in the mood for watching lately. And I've also tried to be not on my screens as much. Like if I have downtime, you guys know I've been reading a lot more. I've also been doing stuff like editing my YouTube videos because I've been just getting really into those. So, but if you guys have a really good show you, you would recommend, let me know. I keep seeing so much about Euphoria and I just haven't gotten on the, on the Euphoria train. But I'm debating, like, should I finally get on that train? If you guys watch it, let me know if it's any good. But besides that, I'm just gonna chill out tonight. And I'll see you guys in the morning. What the heck is going on on my head?
Hello friends, I have not talked to you guys yet today. It's been a very busy and productive day. I uh, got up, I think I showed you clips already from the gym, did a nice kind of like simple, um, it's kind of a glute hamstring a bridge workout, so it's definitely just posterior chain, working all this nice stuff back here, um, which you guys did see, then got ready really quick, went to my work event, um, it went well which is nice, always nice when things run smoothly. Showed you some clips from the apartment. I don't know how that footage is gonna look. I haven't watched it back yet, but um, it was funny because like the realtor, I asked if I could like take a video. And they're like, yeah, of course, like go for it. But then they awkwardly like were talking to me as I was trying to video, so I couldn't just like, <laughs> I was like trying to talk and like not get them in it, whole thing. Back, just bought a bottle of wine that we will see in a few seconds. And I did get a package from Riderwear as well, which I'll show you guys in a bit. All right. I'm pretty sure this package is more stuff from the Evolution collection from Riderwear, um, which is the really cool like cheetah print with the race stripes that I recently talked about in a previous video. I did a full review on that, so if you're interested, go check out that video. It is currently on sale. Riderwear is doing like a huge March sale, so like I think the entire website is up to 70% off. Plus, you get an extra 10% if you use code Erica H. That's my athlete code. Don't know what this position is. This is going to be perfect on a day when I don't want to be too out there, but I still want to feel great. Because, again, these are literally, I think, my favorite rider wear shorts I've ever tried. Naked shorts, I love the material of the naked, but the naked shorts, I definitely think I need to size up. I just haven't tried the size up because they just fit me really a bit tight. All right, son. They fit me tighter than I would like them to in my thighs. But these just fit so incredible. They stretch, they look good on you. They've got the butt scrunch, so your booty looks incredible. How gorgeous. I mean, it's definitely got a slightly cherrier brown. I think this color is shows even better in just the jumper compared to the pattern, like, animal print. Oh, it's <laughs> I might change into this. It is also like that time of the month for me and I got hit pretty hard. Like it's like a heavier one. So TMI, sorry for any of the uh, boyfriends in the back listening who don't want to hear this, but all right. Am I just really beautiful right now or is it just me? Because I think I look really good. Cool. All right. Love that for me, but I was really annoyed because I was really looking forward to wearing the white set like later this week slash this weekend and I just probably shouldn't chance it for another few days which is really really annoying. I think that one's maybe my favorite but it's all right we'll save it for next week. I still have maybe I'll wear the brown to the gym tomorrow. I don't know if I told you guys but I have switched up my workout routine and like schedule so now my workout week starts on a Saturday. So I do Saturday, Sunday. Well, I basically do Saturday through Thursday. Friday is my true rest day. If I wanna do anything, I'll do boxing, but I found that like trying to work out on Fridays has been really challenging in the last few weeks and months, honestly, because the gym opens late. It doesn't open until 8 a.m. on Fridays. And unless I'm there at eight on the dot, I like, and only working out for like 20 to 30 minutes. I can't do a workout on a Friday morning, which does kind of ruin my whole routine of trying to be in the mornings. Yeah, so basically I start Saturday as my first day compared to Monday as my first day, because it worked out within like Friday is like my Sunday, where it's like a true rest day. Um, the youths are out in town. My hair is also really getting long. Guys, should I straighten my hair today? I've said it out loud. Now maybe I'll actually do it. I've been wanting to straighten my hair for a while just to see like what the actual length is. And then to possibly also give myself a little bit of a trim, get rid of some of my dead ends. And I just, I'll start to get in that process. And then I just won't. But I don't know. I'm really feeling it today. I've got nothing else to do all day long. So... This might not have been my best idea. 
I've only brushed it so far. Good morning, France fans, haters. It is now Sunday morning, as you can tell. Oh, actually, I don't know if you can tell. It's a bit rainy, it's a bit gray. There's a uh, weather warning for fog. Fun. Um, wait, did I show you guys my straight hair yet? I don't remember if I did or not yesterday. I will in a second. Well, when we get to the gym. So, I see a lot of dog walkers, and they're all bundled up, head to toe in a coat. Where did she go? Oh, she turned around. Um, head to toe, bundled up in coats, scarves, sweaters. And I'm out here in friggin' Crocs and shorts, heading to the gym. Uh, I will say, it's actually not that cold today. It's like 46. It's a bit of a cold rain though, which isn't ideal.
friends I don't really remember what the last thing I filmed with you guys was um I know we saw the gym and then I also was feel I'm filming two videos at once I was trying to be like a proper like little like youtuber vlogging and doing up a storm so you guys probably if you have so you guys probably already would have seen it but I did have a um delicious like tofu bowl for it wasn't for, I guess it was for lunch. Yeah, so for lunch. And that recipe is up on my YouTube. I'll maybe pop a couple clips in here of what it looks like so you see. But I'm hungry again. I mean, it was a few hours ago. So like it's actually around the right time where I should be getting hungry again. But the thing is, I don't really have many snack things. Like, I don't have like pretzels or popcorn, I don't think. And let me just check. Nope, I don't. I mean, I've got some Twiglets. You don't only really have a handful of Twiglets, though, before you kind of feel like, you know what I'm saying? Um, so I don't really have snacky foods, unfortunately. Uh, so darn good. I really do love Twiglets, fun fact. Have you ever tried Twiglets dipped in Nutella or Biscoff? Life-changing. So good. Um, but like, I don't really have many snacky foods, which is kind of annoying. It's a blessing and a curse, because I do like to snack, but also I've been trying to force myself to eat like real, like better meals, and like trying to stick with more whole foods, things like that. Um, and to be fair, it's just the way I eat, like I like it for the most part, but every once in a while, I am on my lady time. I think I should go to that. So I do kind of crave like, snack snacks a little bit more often um and i just don't have any but i think instead of trying to like have a quick snack i am just gonna wait because it is getting closest to like dinner time so i think I'll, I'll wait i'll have a few more but then i'll wait and then i'll just have like a bigger dinner you know what i have some ground turkey that i need to eat so I'm gonna be gone for the next few days for work. So what's it gonna occur? I love what I do. And it's funny to travel, meet new people, but also I'm just not mentally like prepared for it to be like travel season again. Spring travel is much less like daunting than fall travel at least. Like I don't really have a handful of events. I don't even think I've got 20 events for in the spring, I have 20 events in a week. Uh, in the fall where in the fall I have 20 events in a week so definitely much more manageable but still it's just like and on top of like I'm trying to like apartment on I'm supposed to get an apartment tomorrow but I might call and cancel because just not one I didn't love it like even in the pictures two I think it is slightly higher in the price range for me so it's not as realistic and I also already haven't had the greatest experience with the real estate agent I'm like I have a busy enough day tomorrow so yeah I might cancel I realized I haven't read in a while like you know like a week or two so once I finish watching I'm watching one of Sophie's vlogs I talk about Sophie all the time on Instagram I love her Sophie Jane is her channel um she's great she's fun she's a nice chill time Australian I've been loving my Australians recently. I think I keep saying that. Um, but once I finish her vlog, I'm going to read. Um, I think I already did download a new Colleen Hoover. It's not new. It's just new to me. And then do that with a glass of wine. That's going to be it for this video. I realize it's a bit of an abrupt ending, but... Uh... It was a bit of an all over the place vlog. At one point, my vlog was over an hour long. I had to edit it down a lot. Lots of just rambling. So, hope you guys liked it. Hope you guys like hanging out with me. And uh, besides that, I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye!
Don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe too. Whoa!